Emerson Umningagwa, the president of Zimbabwe, yesterday unveiled his new cabinet, but several of his family members were given significant positions in the government, igniting debate over the appointments. Kutakwash David Umningagwa, Umningagwa's son, has been named the Deputy Minister of Finance, which is a remarkable position. It is important to note that Kutakwash Umningagwa won the ZANU-PF Youth Quota seat in the Midlands province where candidates between the ages of 21 and 35 are selected using a proportional representation system. Tomai Umningagwa was nominated by Umningagwa as the Deputy Minister of Tourism, which is another unusual appointment. Along with this option, Barbara Rudzi's dubious appointment as Minister of Tourism is another problematic choice. When Rudzi verbally assaulted a senior police officer who was looking into ZANU-PF activists for political violence in June, she drew criticism. Mingagwa has kept Nthilinkyub as the finance minister despite opposition to his economic policies. Due to the continued depreciation of the Zimbabwean dollar and alarmingly high triple-digit inflation, Nkyub has had difficulty reviving the economy of the nation. The sports minister, Kirsty Coventry, who was reappointed, has also received criticism for her work. When asked why he chose to rehire Coventry, Umningagwa defended his decision by expressing his happiness with her work. He also said that after they took office, individuals who weren't happy with her might choose in another president. Notably, there is no opposition party representation in the cabinet. Umningagwa defended his choice by saying that the opposition would rather play a counterforce role than share in the burden of running the country. Umningagwa argued that the opposition would prefer to be in true opposition versus being in power and then failing to carry out its opposition. Vice President Constantino Chiwenga has been relieved of his multiple duties in the health sector by the appointment of Douglas Mambushara as the new Minister of Health. President Umningagwa stands by his selections and emphasizes his happiness with the personnel in his cabinet despite criticism and worries about nepotism and underperformance in response to these appointments. The political climate in Zimbabwe is further highlighted by the absence of opposition representatives in the cabinet.